The Carolina Panthers take on the San Francisco 49ers in Bank of America Stadium this Sunday. Following their embarrassing loss to the Arizona Cardinals last week, the San Francisco 49ers come in bolstering a top 10 run game while the Carolina Panthers are missing one of their key defensive backs. Let's talk about how that might affect this game right after this. I'm from the foe, you dig? Welcome back to The Way I See It. I am Jamario Rashad. This is a Carolina Panther and Charlotte Hornet fan channel. I bring you fire content each and every day. So go ahead and hit the like button and make sure you subscribe to the channel. Now, straight to the topic of this video, I wanted to discuss the injury last game that took place to our star safety, Jeremy Chan, in the embarrassing loss to the Arizona Cardinals. Now, Jeremy Chan only played, I believe it was about six snaps before leaving the game, never to return, and leaving the fans to wonder what exactly what his what was his injury because he was actually on the sideline. He seemed to be hobbling a little bit, but he was able to walk under his own power, so we weren't exactly sure what it is. Now, I went over to carolinapanthers.com, found this article uh, from Darren Gant and Augusta, uh, Augusta Stone. They don't seem to indicate what exactly the injury is either, but they do give us a little more insight to into uh, what is going on within the building. So uh, this last line right here was a quote from uh, Coach Fire, Matt Rule. He is injured, but for how long it is, I don't know. Uh, that's very scary to um, to hear. Coming from the head coach, you would assume that he has more insight than just about anybody. Uh, I would assume he has the the medical staff on speed dial, but this is Coach Fire Matt Rule. You actually you, you never know what he has going on. So, uh, with the absence of Jeremy Chin being lo uh, looming over this game, it had me thinking. Um, the Panthers have not been bad on defense this year. If you let anybody tell you that, they just haven't been watching the game. The defense has actually been pretty solid this year. And what we need most in this game against the 49ers is going to be for that run defense to be stout because Kyle Shanahan is going to run the ball in a in a in a great array of way in a great array of ways. There is going to be a lot of different combinations, a lot of different people that touch the ball, and Debo Samuel is going to be one of those people. Jeremy Chin, being the box safety he is, the big body, strong, sure tackling safety that we have, he's one of the guys that was going to be responsible for making sure that Debo Samuel's does not break out, get any of these long runs, and we can actually take him down before he breaks off any of these big of uh, any of these big gains. Additionally, on third down, if they ever do choose to send George Kittle out on passing routes, uh, he would be the safety that steps in to actually cover him. Now with him being gone, I don't know how confident I am in the defense being able to hold down this um this rushing attack by the 49ers but if they do so we would need a a absolutely superstar game from Derrick Brown um just collapsing the pocket we would need Brian Burns to be all over the field and we would need Frankie Luvu to continue to ball out but all of those guys would be on the first level we need we need somebody on that next level that would be able to ensure the tackle if they did make it past the line of scrimmage. With Jeremy Chin being gone, I see that being an issue, and I see the defense potentially struggling a lot more so than they have in the first four games against the Rush, simply because they're going to be missing one of their key guys. Now, with that being said, uh, you all leave your comments below. How do you think uh, this injury could potentially affect the game? this Sunday. Please, please don't be an asshole and just say, yeah, I was going to lose anyway. Shut up. Just, just shut up. Don't nobody want to hear that shit. Just leave the, leave the comment, a constructive comment or whatever, man, or just say whatever you want, man. I appreciate, I appreciate it. I appreciate the, the interactions no matter what you say, man. But like, um, yeah. So with that being said, I ain't gonna keep y'all here, um, too much longer. Um, I am Jamario Rashad. This is the way I see it. That's the end of the video. Peace.